All right, in this morning's Science Buzz, we're going to talk about advancements in taking non-astronauts, meaning us, the general public, to space. Now, Friday, Virgin Galactic got the green light from the FAA to begin sending people to space. Now they have to complete successfully three test flights this summer, including one with a full crew. And the word is that owner Richard Branson will be a part of one of those test flights. Now, when they finally get the final approval to go to space, to get a ticket on one of those suborbital flights will cost you a pretty penny, $250,000 a pop. Well, if you don't want to go quite that far into space and your budget's not going to cut it, then here's another option for you. A Florida company is offering to take you to the edge of space and it's high tech hot air balloon. These are pictures of it right now. Space Perspective says it's taking reservations for those wanting to fly on the spaceship Neptune. Aircraft is going to be pressurized and suspended from a blimp. It's going to cost you $125,000 and only go up 100,000 feet. You're going to get 360 degree views of space before splashing down safely into the ocean. So Joe, wow. what would you what would you pick if you had to pick one of them? $375,000 altogether. I think I'd love to go to space itself. The edge of space that's one thing that balloon looked pretty cool, pretty high tech, but right. I, I think for me, Melissa, to go to space is the ultimate goal, even though it'll cost me what about a, a mortgage? It, it, <laughs> your mortgage? It could be two or three mortgages, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, I think I would agree with you because I'm worried about the splashing down part from the blimp like that to me is just a little bit too much. I'd rather go in the suborbital flight.